everybody. Hope everybody's having a decent Saturday uh, in Tennessee. It's very rainy, so I thought I'd make a video and kind of show you what I've been doing with uh, the VCV Rack 2. Made a song that's, I guess it's kind of generative. Um, it's in D minor. And um, before I go on, I need to thank Omri Cohen a ton because... He is a great teacher and has taught me so much stuff about um, modular synth that uh, I don't know if I can ever thank him enough. So a big shout out to him and a big thank you. And I will put his information below this video. So check his site out and uh, do yourself a favor and take some of his lessons because you won't be disappointed. Okay, um, so this song has about... I don't know uh, what I say there. Nine voices, I believe. So... Um, the first voice is a basal, two basal oscillators with a envelope here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these uh, cables because they're in the way and they're annoying me. All right, cables are gone. So you got the two basals, uh, the slap, which is an envelope, as well as a, it's called slips, and it is a sequencer. Um, let me show you what that sounds like here. It should work. Let's see here. too happy about that but that's okay um, the number two is vocals and I'll go through those at the end um, the third thing is a pad so the pad kind of sounds like this let me see if I can get the pad to go in here I'm sorry it's a choir so let me just get this choir going up here So I got the choir going there. The fourth one is it's a pad, so the pad's going to sound kind of like this. Uh, I believe they got the pad off, a DX7, a software version. All right, cool. Uh, the fifth one is a uh, really compressed piano, um, also software piano, so it's really compressed. Let me see if I can get this to go up a little bit here. And then um, the next one is a bell, and this bell's kind of fun. This bell, I don't know. Um, so this bell is right here, and this is what it kind of sounds like. See here. So, let's see if I get the bell here. It's kind of fun. It just kind of goes back and forth. It's just like ear candy more than anything else. And then um, the bases are... Um, this one down here, Psych, with a filter, and um, uh, filter and uh, um, AD envelope, and this is what it sounds like here. Let me see if I can get that going here. Oops, wrong one. My bad. It's got a cool bass sound there. And then the last thing is an FM operator. Um, where is it at? Where did I put it? It's... No, I'm sorry. The last voice, I'm sorry, is this wavetable here um, from um, Erica Sense, which sounds kind of cool. Let me just play it real quick. And I run things through um, um, EW Spaces, Primal Tap, and um, also a chorus here. Um, I did sins on these. I tried to put them all on the channel, and it worked out fine, but it was killing the computer on it, so I wanted to just do sins instead. Everything is based off of this um, sequencer here, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't think you can see everything here, but it is a 32-step sequencer, and I've got it alternating on each um, each one of these alternates and does it in the key of D minor um, so that is about it on that um, the clock is an LFO triggered by a sample on hold and then I've got a bunch of these BPM LFO clocks so I've got one times two one divided by two one I've got two divided by two great and one uh, 
divided by four. I'm sorry, this is multiplied by eight. This is divided by four. And um, I really think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do a live performance of the song. And um, I mapped all these to my keyboard. You can't see it, but I have a keyboard over here that I mapped everything to. Um, I hope that kind of tells you the process. Please let me know what you would like me to do better or what I could do better. I'm always open for suggestions on this. I'm always trying to learn stuff on this stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. The last voice. Um, these are takes from, like, a Department of War from um, from the U.S. government about uh, fascism. Um, if you're not in the U.S., um, you probably well, you may know our country is just crazy right now, so um, just kind of put some stuff in here to talk about how fascism happens and things like that and added it to the song. Um, again, thanks for listening and let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.
opposition is dangerous whether the despotism is official or whether it is unofficial. If people are rude to others because they think their wealth and position gives them that right, or because they don't like a man's race or his religion. When a competent observer looks for signs of despotism in a community, he looks beyond fine words and noble phrases. A community is low on a respect scale if common courtesy is withheld from large groups of people on account of their political attitudes. What sort of community do you live in? Where would you place it on a democracy despotism scale? Today, democracy can ebb away in communities whose citizens allow power to become concentrated. The test of despotic power is that it can disregard the will of the people. It rules without the consent of the governed. despotism took root and flourished under Adolf Hitler. courtesy is withheld from large groups of people on account of their political attitudes. What sort of community do you live in? Where would you place it on a democracy despotism scale? 